Hello, welcome back to Bramall Does, and today we're going to be reviewing Guinness Rich Chili Crisps from, I think these are from Burt's, Fit Cut Hand Cut Potato Chips, and Guinness, straight up Guinness, again, these are just Guinness Fit, fit, fit Cut Hand Cut Potato Crisps. Got these, well, actually, Abby picked these up from Aldi. Um, probably about £1, £1.30. I think like one twenty nine a packet of them, weren't they? Yeah. So I'm going to be, uh, going to try them, see what they're like. See if they've got a Guinnessy flavour. And next to me here, seems though it's St. Patrick's Day as well. Got myself the original Guinness, which I do prefer because it's got more flavour. Go and check out my other channel, I'm all Backroom Brewery for the beer and stuff. I'm not going to be reviewing the beer, I'm just going to have a taste with this. So, which chat? I'll do the chilli ones first. I'll try the Guinness ones first. What does it say here? This is a love story line, no other. No, sorry. This is a love story like no other. I'm not on glasses on. The meeting of Guinness, the iconic Irish stout and a fine artisan crisp with one mission to thrill you, your taste buds, combining their expertise and craftsmanship, Guinness and Burt's chips set out to create the ultimate snack in a pack. Hand cooking quality potatoes to crisp perfection before evenly seasoning with a rich blend of Guinness flavours. That's going to be interesting. Uh, the result is a mouth-watering crisp with a bitter sweet flavour of this iconic Irish stout. And we hope you agree, a crunch like never witnessed before. Whether in the pub, Carried on the sofa for Saturday night TV or getting ready for the weekend match, should have said. Guinness Burt's Chips are your perfect snack, snacking partner. And it's got the Guinness logo here as well. It says there, uh, good stuff. No artificial colourings, no artificial colours, no, no artificial flavourings, and no, no added MSG. And you can go and check Burt's out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So... That's the original Guinness. I don't think it's going to say anything different on the back of this one. It just says it's continuing their partnership with this one to create the delish, delicious potato chips. Again, it's uh, cooked with Guinness, and then you've got a selection of herbs, some one chili, and the flavour of the, the stout. So, yeah, let's see what these are going to be like. So, first of all, let's open these. So, Guinness, I, I do like a Guinness, and like I say, the original stout. I prefer that over the uh, draft stuff. So is it going to have that roastiness, um, which you can get from a Guinness? Um, and irony as well, you know. Is it? I, I don't know. Are they going to be able to put that into a crisp? But I don't know. Let's check it out. What size bag is it? 150 grams. So, it just smells like crisp. It really does. Actually. It smells like they've got some malt character going on there, which is really, really weird. So it has got a little bit of a beery maltiness. Let's have a look at the crisp. There's a crisp itself. It's got some bits on there. I don't know what them bits are. Maybe that is... I don't know how they've done this. They seasoned it with Guinness. What have we done? Used the malt, dried the Guinness. Don't know. It just smells like a... A malty beef umami crisp. Okay, I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna get Mrs. B to try one, see what she thinks. <laughs> right, straight away, it's got, for me, my opinion, oh, actually, Mrs. B, try one. But I know what I'm getting from that. What I think it tastes like. It's got a really good crisp. I like a really crunchy crisp. I do prefer them like that. But I'm getting something. And it's... I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not getting Guinness, to be honest. It, what I'm getting... Bovril. Yeah. It's like a bovril flavour. Bovril touching marmite. It's like a it's like a blend between the two. And it, marmite is a yeast extract. I might have a look at the uh, if I can no, I won't be able to see it. Mask Mrs. B if you can see them, no, the ingredients because it'd be interesting. 
to know what's going in that because it's like a beef bovril marmite concoction and that might be where I'm getting the malty from the yeast in it the, you know, the yeast from that sort of like marmite yeast yeah I'd never get that flavour in a blind taste never never would I say oh it's got some sort of seasoning from Guinness or oh, it's got the, the roasted malts from the Guinness there's none of that it's got a malty aroma but when I'm saying malty you could say a bovril uh, sorry what's that hot horlicks them sort of things they're malty as well aren't they so you could have used some sort of malt extract in that seasoning but it's going to be interesting so this is being what's in them crisp potatoes sunflower oil yeast extract powder sugar buttermilk powder rice flour fat reduced cocoa powder salt natural flavoring barley barley, barley malt extract there you go Oh, sorry, barley malt extract powder. There you go. That's so. That's what you're getting. Cream powder. Yeah. So straight away you're getting, you've got a yeast extract in there, which is mm. like uh, marmite, and the malt extract as well. And that's what I was saying. So when you read the ingredients, them flavours do come through. But that's not what Guinness tastes like, to me anyway. Guinness is more roasty, iony. You know, it's not... I don't taste yeasty malt extract I really don't but right, let's try the chilli ones and then what I'll do I'll crack the Guinness and see, what, see if that does anything to enhance them <laughs> these smell like chicken crisp remind, that, that smell you want to smell them reminds me of chicken flavoured crisp something like that yeah it does it's, it's like a chicken <laughs> I wonder what herb. I wonder for herbs. What herbs would you have in a chicken seasoning? Thyme. Thyme. I wonder if there's thyme in there. Something like that. Sage or something. Mm. Okay. There's a crisp again. Like I say, that crisp. The crisp is really good. Hand cooked. I like the thick cut and I like the crisp, the crunch. Not as much seasoning. I can't see them, but it's bizarre. It smells like a chicken crisp. That's good. To me, it tastes like chicken crisp. It's really, really bizarre. You're slightly getting that that marmite bovril again, but the seasoning is like you'd have on a chicken dinner or a chicken flavoured crisp. It's bizarre. I'm not getting any chilli. What are you getting in there? What do you say with what flavours have you got there? <clears throat> it's it's like it's like a roast chicken dinner. It is, isn't it? On a crisp. But there's it's no really chilli. It's supposed to be rich chilli. There's something there, but it's not. Herbs, tomato and chilli. Mm. <laughs> With them. I get the herbs. <laughs> On a blind taster, I would never ever mm. pick up Guinness rich chilli on any of these. But you do get the malt, yeasty, extracty flavours. But well, that one, that rich chilli one, I'm not getting any heat, not getting any chilli flavour. And I'm just getting, like Mrs. B said, it's like thyme, sage, something like that in the seasoning. So you've got better eyesight than me. I'll let you read the ingredients again. I'm going to crack this Guinness open. So I'm going to crack this open. Mrs. B's going to read the ingredients. Let me crack this before you start there. So, right, go on, you read the ingredients out then. Potato, sunflower oil, sugar, yeast extract powder, salt, natural flavouring, barley. Onion powder, paprika powder, barley malt extract powder, garlic powder, ground cumin, chilli powder, tomato powder, herbs, ground ginger. Okay. So the herbs are most prominent. Mm. Out of all of that, the herbs and then that yeast extract, mm. which you can't say it's Guinness flavoured. You really can't. I'd never, like I say, I won't pick it up. Um, well, you, you just say that you're getting a different flavour. It's now. like a chilli con carne. So beefy, meat, tomato. Yeah. But you're what getting a bit of chilli. You're getting some chilli now, are you? Slightly. I'm not getting out. Let me try another one. Let me try it it's with like a. a <laughs> try it with a drink of the uh, the Guinness. Mm. 
It's just so strange. It's just heavy. Really, really heavy. Okay. Guinness original. <laughs> Guinness original just washes it away. And I can taste the Guinness. The Guinness is really nice. Lots of roasted malt flavours there. It does actually match because it, it comes together on the palate once you've done the Guinness. That's not bad. You don't like Guinness, so there's no point you trying it, is there? No. Can you pass me the original one? So that chilli one sort of rounded it out a little bit with the, with the drink. Let's try the original Guinness with the original Guinness crisp. That worked better. That worked better. That crisp brought out the sweetness in the Guinness. Do you want to try that? <laughs> no. Honestly, because you think Guinness is bitter. Yeah. I don't get bitter from Guinness, but you think it's bitter. But that crisp and that Guinness works a lot better than the, the herby crisp. Didn't, I don't get any chilli on the other ones. Because that just brings a sweetness to everything. It just brings a rounded sweetness to everything. That is really quite nice. Would I buy these again? Uh, because of Burt's and the thick cut, I like that. I like the flavour. Um, I don't think I'd buy it because it says Guinness and I'm not going to find Guinness in there whatsoever. But they're, 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 they're alright, not bad. That Burt's Guinness and the Burt's Guinness chili, rich chilli which tastes to me like chicken and sage and thyme and herbs. Um, yeah, I'd buy them again because they're not off flavours. They're quite nice. I think you say £1.30 for a per bag. It's a bargain really as well. So, there we go. Anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you as subscribers. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. This is just a quick review. Guinness crisps with a bottle of Guinness on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you on the next one.